Evening everybody. Bush Cat Daryl here with you. This is Joyce. Say hi Joyce. Hi Joyce. Hi Joyce. She she can follow instructions, okay? She wanna go flying? We're going flying. Right along. Yeah. God I've known Joyce now for I bet thirty years anyway. Maybe even more than that. But in any case, uh she's a pilot too. And uh just uh got out of flying uh, life happens and uh so uh you know been watching me uh, fly the bush cat around on youtube so she said uh one day she she made the comment uh, she'd like to go for a ride i said well all i gotta do is come out so here we go out around the corner and we're gonna head up uh we're gonna head up uh and get a couple of pictures uh, of her house from the from the air and that smoke from canada from the wildfires up there you can see what that's doing to us this is not fog this is that smoke and it's just making it so difficult her house right in front of the tire there we circled around and uh circled around there it is again got uh, got some shots of it and then as we're heading back uh you don't see it until you get right up on it but it's so important to have your have your maps available and study where you are and where you're going because we're flying along at probably i don't know 1000 1200 feet and here's this 800 foot tower right here and uh running into that tower right there on the left hand side of the frame you can just see it coming in and uh very important to know that stuff's out there and know that you're at a safe altitude above it but in any case so uh, we headed back across the lake and um, headed home, and I just happened to have, just happened to have a, a camera on the ground this time, and caught me, uh, caught Joyce and I uh, making the approach here, um, flying to the east over the trees, and uh, just uh, you can see how smoky it is. I mean, it's it's literally the they were calling the visibility ten miles, and you could see a long ways, but it was uh, it was uh, definitely a challenging flight. But uh, back home here. We'll drop her down over the trees here. We'll give you a little right rudder, a little left aileron, a little forward slip here. I don't usually get a look at it from this angle, but this was kind of neat. I thought uh, I thought I would uh, include this in there. So you just uh, slip the bush cat down in, then fly it, uh, I don't know, three, two, three feet off the ground, and then all at once it'll just settle on ever so nice for you. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, Joyce and, uh, enjoyed the ride. And I'm hoping, uh, hoping you folks uh, enjoyed the ride up there into the buckbrush uh, north and uh, east of the Nida Lake. 